To call the ProFab 1200 a trailer boat is a bit of a stretch, but in fact it really is. Hi, I'm Barry Thompson from Pacific Powerboat Magazine, and today I'm running a full review on the first of a series of new Roger Hill designed Powercats from ProFab Engineering. The semi-production ProFab 1200 is something different for the company, but again to me it shows off their skills and workmanship and that they can do anything with an alloy boat. Now this boat is built tough. It's got six mil running surfaces, five mil top sides, and four mil superstructure. But the roof, however, is all composite, and that's done for a reason. It reduces weight, and also allows them to put some nice soft curves in the styling. Designer Roger Hill was given the job of coming up with a boat that could be powered by either inboard or outboard, and also be fitted with or without foils. Now I would expect anyone buying a boat would opt for foils, but not only for the extra speed, but also better economy at mid-range, and that's been proven many, many times. The boat has an overall length of 13 metres, the hull length of 12 metres, and a beam of 4.7 metres, with a midship displacement of around 10.3 tonnes, so it's not a light boat. One of the most impressive features of the first Pro 1200 is the power. Twin Mercury Varado 600 V12s dominate the transom and I have to admit they look impressive. This is only the second boat I've been out with with twin V12s and every time I'm amazed. The 7.6 litre quad cam V12 Mercury has taken over when it comes to big horsepower outboards and the 600s have proven incredibly popular since first launched a few years ago. Well, 1200 horsepower on the back this boat's going to boogie. There's no slug. Out here today in Auckland Harbour, I managed to get about 46.7 out of it. We were trying for 47, and I'm sure with a little bit more wind, it just under the tunnel, it'd probably do it. So let's call it a 47 knot boat. But you're not going to run all day at 47 knots. It's going to suck the gas back. It's going to make a dent in the old pocket. At 4,500 revs, at 30 knots, you've got a range of about 300 nautical miles. Now that's from Auckland to the Bay of Islands and back, something that this boat has already done. One of the advantages of the Mercury V12 is it had a steerable gear case and a fixed power head. Now what the fixed power head means is that in normal outboards, this all moves. In the case of the V12 Mercury, the power head stays where it is. Now one of the big advantages of that is that for your boarding platform, in the case of this boat, this is two meters square, you can get it right up close against the engine. It's not going to get in the way. Normally you'd have to cut that back. Big bonus. So with the outboard, you get a lot more space. The boarding platform comes right through here. We've got a very big drop down ladder, double tier. So if you're diving, really good to get back on board. Comes with a seat, fold away seat here, which is there if you need it, or if you're fishing, you don't need it, you fold out of the way. I've tilted the motor up to show you a couple of things. One, the engine is completely out of the water. So if you are mooring this, leaving the water for some time, there's no salt water going to be affecting that. Secondly, if you've got something wrapped around your propeller, you can lean over here, undo it without getting wet. And the other thing is, if you wanted back right into this beach over here, you can get right up, drop this ladder down, you'd be in this much water. Now, how many boats of this size can you do that with? Going into the cockpit, if you're on a marina, our situation, you've got the side door. Now, the other thing with the side door, not only does that give you good access to your marina berth or your finger, but what a great spot for diving off, even bringing in a big, imagine getting a 600 pound marlin, you could probably bring that right across the side here. One of the advantages of the ProFab 1200, while it's a production boat, it's still very customizable. So the layout here in the cockpit has been designed for what this particular owner wants. Twin outboards allows us for twin access, a central lounger, fixed table, another small lounger on the starboard side, and a day head to port. Overhead, there's a shade comes out to get rid of the sun, which fortunately today, is actually, we've actually got some. But you can do what you like, you can change it all around and of course if you've got the inboard situation then you can have a lounger each side or a barbecue whatever and you've got walk through access. 
to the boarding platform. And under the cockpit sole we've got two huge lazarettes. Now in the case of having outboards, this is all storage. And even if you go for the inboard configuration, because it's on V-drives, the engine sort of come to somewhere like this, so you still get good storage underneath. The interiors are very customer driven. For, you, you get what you want. And in the case of this owner, the layout that he chose was a port side galley, normal appliances and sink and composite services, plenty of storage. On the other side, a two metre plus lounger with a fixed table and the central helm. Now, this boat's got a double helm seat with storage underneath, but you can have this, in fact, the second boat that they're building right now has a single helm seat. So again, your choice. Big dash, doesn't have to be that big, but in the case, it's well balanced. Got twin garments, everything you need to, to look at, sea zone, got fusion, the mercury controls, Garmin VHF, and all the mercury control systems here and wipers. So what I like about it is that when you're sitting here, everything's easy to see. And through here, we've got a curved screen that's taken out to the maximum that you can get a curved screen, so hence the two mullions. But with the big wipers, I found the visibility was still pretty good. Overhead, we've got a little hatch, bit of air ventilation in, and there's even a handrail down the center. Got open windows on either side, so good light, good ventilation, and I like the light oaky satin timbers. Timbers your choice, but there's a lot of light and ventilation, and it's very, very airy, it feels big. Down on the port side of this boat, we see forward, two single berths, storage under, and plenty of storage uh, drawers. Aft is a double, about just over two meters long. Okay, so now we're in the master stateroom, for want of a better word. Got the athwart ship's berth, it's about two metres square, so plenty of space. You can virtually mirror image this on the other side, so there's, a, there's enough room, because obviously this is all up above the tunnel. Nice big glass window on the side, and a hatch over the top, leaving plenty of ventilation should you need it. In this configuration, this ensuite will serve as both the forward accommodation areas, and has the usual big walk-in shower and raised bowl and toilet. So uh, plenty of room in here. Access to the foredeck is, is nice and secure. You've got good side rails here, handrail up here, 350 wide side decks. What's different about this, in some ways being a big boat like this, it's got a drum winch. Now I think drum winches are marvellous. I don't know why a lot more bigger boats don't have them. And it certainly makes anchoring easier and less troublesome. We often talk about the cabin top, but here we are, we're on it. Big area for a tender, soft bottom tender, something you can actually get up there easily enough. Two solar panels, your radar dome, your aerials, there's a light there for it. So, you know, it's a very well utilised space. And it'll be really nice here if you put a squab up here or you just come out here with a couple of towels. Lovely area to lie out in the afternoon and we've got a beautiful day today to do it. Roger Hill is one of New Zealand's most prolific power cat designers with an excess of 200 designs to his credit and he currently has over 22 boats in build throughout the world. Now that's pretty impressive. The mission statement for the ProFab 1200 was for a boat that had broad appeal, be competitively priced, offer a range of powering and performance options and be capable of having a foil. All being well achieved with the ProFab 1200. Thanks to Profab's bespoke customization services, they've really nailed it when it comes to taking the concept of a production boat to full creation, but with customization. So you not only get what you want, it is finished to the highest standard. And knowing you have a hull designed by an internationally recognized designer, hey, what's not to like? 